Impacts of TV Programming on Babies Guidelines Babies and toddlers are commonly exposed to television and screens at an early age. Parents may use television to occupy, distract, or attempt to entertain babies with children's programming, or babies may be exposed to adult programming, either directly or indirectly. In 2016, the American Academy of Pediatrics updated their media policies for children under 18 months. The new recommendation is that screen media is not used with infants under 2 years old, except for video chatting. Video chatting with loved ones who are physically distant can be beneficial to babies. However, it's helpful if an adult is present to guide the baby through the interaction. How does TV programming impact babies? There are several different ways television programming can impact babies. The first is brain development. In the early months and years of life, infants experience significant brain development and adaptations. This development is significantly impacted by what a child is exposed to in their environment, including the type and quality of stimulation. Attention and Stimulation Research suggests that long-term impacts of stimulating rapidly changing images and events on television may shorten a child's attention span and can lead to ADHD, particularly with early exposure during critical periods of brain development. Learning. Infants and toddlers learn better from interaction and observations with people than they do from watching television or screen programming. Sleep. Babies who are exposed to screens in the evening have been shown to sleep a shorter length of time at night. This is a result of viewing activating content on TV as well as the reduction of melatonin from exposure to the kind of blue light that is emitted from screens and televisions. Delay in language development. Studies have also shown a correlation between television viewing and language development for babies under 24 months of age. Background TV. You may wonder, so what if the TV's on and your baby's not really watching it? In the research, this is called background TV, and it has also been shown to have negative impacts on babies. One study showed that if background TV was included, babies are exposed to an average of four hours of television per day. Studies also show that babies don't play as long and have shorter attention spans when the TV is on in the background. And background TV has also shown to reduce the quality of interactions with caregivers and social learning, as well as the overall length of interpersonal interaction. What babies need for healthy development. Babies are social learners. They learn from interacting with other people through observing, communicating, and imitating. Television and screen watching does not facilitate the learning process especially in the first 15 months of life. Research shows that babies don't learn as well from video programming as they do from interactions with the world around them. The American Academy of Pediatrics policy statement also included the following about what babies need for healthy development. Children younger than two years need hands-on exploration and social interaction with trusted caregivers to develop their cognitive, language, motor, and social-emotional skills. Because of their immature symbolic memory and attentional skills, infants and toddlers cannot learn from traditional digital media as they do from interactions with caregivers and they have difficulty transferring that knowledge to their three-dimensional experience. Close quote. Recommendations regarding babies and TV programming. These are some of the recommendations that have come out of the research that's been done. These include to avoid television and screen media with children under two years of age, except for video chatting to stay in touch with loved ones to turn off the TV when it's not in use, 
Talk to your child and interact with them. Make eye contact with your little one. Read, sing, and count with them. If using media, choose high quality programming and stay with your child and communicate during the viewing. The recommendations also suggest that you don't need to introduce technology early. Children will be able to pick up the skills quickly when it's appropriate. And lastly, avoid TV and screens, especially one hour before bedtime, to help with sleep.